one of the projects we'll be embarking on this year is to sponsor kids to school. Um, these kids will be from the School of the Deaf um, in Jimeta, Adamawa State. As one of our core values is community service, we are calling on the AUN community to please come together and help us achieve this goal of sponsoring kids to school. As we all know, Nigeria has a low tolerance for disabilities, so let's all come together and ensure that these children have the best that we can offer. So first and foremost, we would like to know how the school is, what the school is all about, what you do, the student population, how we started, and some of the key challenges, and then what you expect us to help with. The school started in 2010. But before the school was started, there was a deaf center case. Before they only trained the deaf woman, the deaf woman to swing the block here. And later, they, after the training, the women with the hearing impairment, the center to come to the school. And the center is here, both with the school and the church, church for the deaf. The school is under the church of the deaf here. And the school begins with just few students, it's about three of them. For the beginning, the school here has the one classroom, that is temporary. And later, we, we get support from some NGOs here from outside. They build this, this block and the new one is, is outside there. We are waiting for them to come to the launch. So for now, the student here is about 73 students. Population. Yeah, the population of the school from different different regions. That is both Muslim and Christian. So here we have the nursery, primary, and junior and the SS class here. Yes. We also has eight staff here. Total. That is the teachers. Yes. 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 We have five men and three women. And with the head of the center here, that is our mama represent. The reason why we have only eight teachers here is because school has a lot of challenges here, especially in areas of finance. To bring a new teacher will find it difficult to how, 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 how to get the finance to pay them. It's not easy because we don't have support from other people outside. Only we depend on the student that has paid the school fees to pay the, the staff here. That is how we manage the school here. Sometimes some of the students fail to pay the school fees. Apart from that 73 students, only 10% 10 people that can pay the school fees. Even our school fees here is very, very good. Most parents they cannot afford to pay the school fees because of the, 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 the attitude of the parent toward the student. For example, a woman, one, one of the women came here. She did not pay her daughter's school fees, start from the last first time up to this first time again. And also she is complaining that until she finishes paying, or until she finishes the other daughter, daughter paying the school fees of the of, of, of her university before, before, before she comes to school. That is the challenges we are facing from our students about the school fees to pay the, the teachers. The, the, the another challenge is the welfare of the teachers is very, very low. Some of the staff here, like here they have NCE, and here our teacher, here, here, here our head teacher himself is a degree holder. That is why we just we just keep on going and patient with our students because most of us here we have disabilities too. That is why we just continue to be here because their future is in our hands. We have to give them better education and better future. As we are saying, we are eight staff here, so the subject is too much. So imagine one of the teachers will take the 444 subject from the junior OPSS class. That's what we normally do. And, and the same thing with the with, with for primary section. They will take maybe 222 or 333 start from the nursery. Six. As we are here, two of us here are interpreters here, so the work is very, is very too much for us. We are interpreting and we are teaching them also, and any problem that has happened is better they don't look for any person to go direct us. 
anything even to touch the Western people to do anything. It will just be us. We have just been patient for the local power <laughs> disability too. The reason why some of the parents don't pay this business is it because they cannot afford it or they are less concerned because the kids are less uh, challenged. If, if you compare some parents with disabilities to students, uh, so normally we used to observe them, they have disabilities in their house and they have normal people. They will just go to, to take responsibility of that normal people before they came to. Okay, yes, so they have less feelings that uh, the disabled children are lesser yes. compared to the ones they feel the ones that can speak. Yes, exactly. Are less challenged yes. and much have practice with their own. Exactly. Uh, uh,